Some business owners in Inglewood say the homeless camps along the South Platte River are a health and safety hazard, and they're now reaching out to Contact 7 with their concerns. As Denver 7's Tom Mustin found out, the city's given the campers an ultimatum now. Get out now, or we'll remove you. Kind of scary. It's a growing problem. It's reached a boiling point in Inglewood. We've been told by the police there's been a couple stabbings. There's been some rapes. This giant homeless camp has sprung up along the South Platte River, bringing with it crime, sanitation problems, and security issues for employees nearby. It's not safe. It's not safe to be here at night. It's not safe to be here early in the morning. Stacy Semph works for Diamond Fire Protection. She says people from the camp bathe with their outside faucet, have stolen items from the company, and have left mounds of trash. And you don't want to pick up any of the trash because you don't know if there's needles in it or if there's human feces in it. You just don't know. Maria Chambers has also had issues at her business. I had somebody come up when I was leaving and I was the only person here and he was asking to get some water from us but he seemed to be trying to get in all the doors. Inglewood police say officers have encountered trip wires, needles and human waste at the camp. Chief John Collins says quote it's simply become a dangerous situation that can't be ignored. Tuesday the city placed these flyers near the camp warning that all tents will be moved June 4th. Resources will also be provided for people displaced. How many homeless people live just in this area? right? There are over a hundred tents and camps along this river. Camper Dayoon told us the city is putting a band-aid on a much larger problem and if he's forced to move he'll simply relocate somewhere else. I mean I live wherever I want. Houseless not homeless. I can live anywhere on earth. All I need is a backpack, sleeping bag, a water bottle. And as Dayoon prepares to leave, Maria Chambers says any move by the city is a step in the right direction. Finally, people are doing something about it. Tom Mustin, Denver 7.